All right. Now, we haven't watched a video from this gentleman in a long, long time. His name is Black Maze. Now, before I watch this Black Maze, don't send a copyright strike my way. <laughs> so, so hot. So hot, baby. It's crazy in here. So hot, baby. So hot, baby. So hot, baby. So hot, baby. So hot, All right, yeah. You know, there was a little confusion, and Black Maze did send me a copyright strike, and I understand what, what his, you know, debate was. We had a very adult conversation, and, you know, I just want to start this video with an announcement to Black Maze. Black Maze, listen. <laughs> Thank you, you Kuwata lads. Kuwata, touch my Kuwata lads. Oh, yes, yes. Listen, I'm a little strange. People don't understand except the people watching. They get it. They get it. And if you're watching and you don't get it, get out. Uh, <laughs> anyway, Black Maze, please do not copyright strike me. I am all for XGR. I am all for you, Black Maze. I am one of your biggest fans and supporters. And so we're going to try watching a Black Maze video. And, you know, hopefully we won't get a copyright strike. Just I just I have much love for you. Much love, Black Maze. Now, <laughs> let's watch a Black Maze video. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Can we get the no whammies? Hold on one second. This is how I feel like watching this video right now. Hold on a second. <laughs> let me just let me let me show you an old game show I used to watch here. Uh, no whammies. Where is it at? It's called Press Your Luck. And uh, this is kind of how I feel watching a Black Maze video right now. Let's see what we've got here. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I just need a small example here. Just a small example. Okay, here we go. Now we're watching it. <laughs> Jesus, what is up with that volume? Right for the big board, over 80000 in cash up there waiting for you to take it away. One prize worth more than $5,000. However, the bad news is there's some whammies. Both Tammy and Whammy are up there looking to take away your money. This is me watching... <laughs> This is me watching Black Maze. No whammy. No Stop it. Oh, oh God. I knew I should have watched the Black Maze video. I got another copyright strike. Oh, no whammy. Stop it. Oh, I watched another Black Maze video. I got Oh, God. What? Oh, no. Wait. I can do it. I can do it. I'm watching another Black Maze video. Oh, I did it again. I did it again. You know, that's, that's okay. But I know, I know he won't do that. He knows the love I have for him. Uh, let's, let's watch this. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Version 3.18 puts the Star Citizen flight model in a very special place. Control services are coming and it's important that the ships have a good baseline for when they come online. Ships need enough lift across the various <laughs> services to make them stable and controllable. Yep. And this is something that is not Look yet properly maneuver. set up for a lot of ships. Professional. This is an area where we see lots of potential going forward. And I wanted to highlight a few ships that see very different styles. The Look Kruger P-72 has always been incredibly stable. She flies like Here, a proper- Listen, listen, listen. Did you see, did you see the skill? Do you see what was done there? Hold on, we got to give him an amen for that. That was, that was amazing flight skills right there. That was amazing flight fl flying, if you will. A rocket with lots of lift, but because the rotational oh. power was super low, oh, she was mostly God. uncontrollable Extreme. and could only fly in straight lines. For real, with version 3.18, we see an increase in rotational strength for this ship, which means that she'll actually pitch, and we can really test her out. The awesome thing about this ship is that you can fly Post her with times. main thrust only Post and let time. the lift of the ship carry you just like a real airplane. There is no vertical thrust input required to stay airborne and she flies incredibly stable like a super fast fighter jet. She'll do just over Mach 1 at near Earth-like sea <laughs> levels, on, which is right on the money in terms of top speed. She does have some awesome limitations though. This ship truly feels like she's balanced really well. She won't roll super fast, so you need to think ahead just like you would in a fighter jet. It takes time to roll and you can practically forget about yawing because that rotational power is super limited. She'll just buck like crazy and turn nowhere at all. 
What's really cool about the amount of lift this ship has is that the faster you go, the more lift and thus quote unquote grip you have through a turn. Just like a Formula One car, you can only stay on rails if you keep up your speed. As long as you maintain that speed, you that can drip. turn super fast. That but grip. as soon as you slow down and lose the airflow and lift, you gotta transition to boost Ooh, power. Ooh, what's up considerably? Thank you for that, dude. Thank you so much. To maintain agile maneuverability. This becomes super clear as you take her through this super tight slalom. You that approach grip. super fast and lean on that airflow on entry and then transition to boost as soon as you slow down. The agility just feels perfect. Where doing this corkscrew around the metro loop demonstrates thank that you if so you keep today, the nose pointing so near TVI, today, thank you. she is incredibly stable, but will buck and dip a wing as you stall Woo. out when you get too aggressive on the pitch and cut too harshly into the airflow. Woo. Riding a turn that's fast a feels that's incredibly a awesome a and fight. often introduces the human body as the limiting factor as you ride the edge of the G-force limit. Woo. You know the ship can do more and tighten up, but the body won't allow it. Woo. And I think this is an incredibly cool problem to have. Pushing the limits. Pushing the limits. This is why I love Black Maze, man. This is why when I got that copyright strike, I was like, dude, fucking love you, man. Like, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, this is why I love his content, man. This dude knows what is up, man. You can see this man is pushing the ship to its edge, like, to its razor, razor edge, man. Professional all the way. Yes, sir. You're not going to hate me. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely a fanboy, this guy. Like, he, the way he's flying this is ridiculous. Yeah. I can't hammer on the fact enough that the P-72 just feels incredibly well balanced. I am hoping that when control services are brought online that we can expect more like this, with lots of lift and control services taking over this level of rotational power and maneuverability from the Probably thrusters at high speeds. I do want to mention as well the other side of the coin, because there is something incredibly special about taking a razor around the same track and slapping the ass out as you drift around turns. The razor requires an entirely different approach. It's a drifter. It's a drifter. My son loves drifting. Uh, so, like, he'd probably love the razor. Like, it's, it's more drift. It's more the, the ass end slides on this. You know what I'm saying? It's a flight because the lift is much lower and thus allows for a lot more too. drifting and I rotational capacity. This does mean that it won't actually fly level without vertical strafing input. And that's an interesting problem that I'm curious about how CIG will solve. Yeah. The good, razor good requires point. that you overturn, which is not possible with something like a P72. By overturning, you kind of tell the ship to go where you are pointing in a few moments time as the TVI and drift catch up to the direction you're facing. Both of these flight models are incredibly special and I would obviously hate to lose what the Razor does right now. So I'm hoping that CIG manages to find a balance between these two and lets them coexist somehow. That's something these kiddos don't have the, the ability to, to really feel these days is that rear wheel drive amazingness you know like like i don't think nothing nothing gets made these days it's rear wheel man like man i know thunderbird rear wheel man Ooh, it was nice it's one of my first cars i got saved up for it man thing was a little monster rear wheel all day long song fun it's a really interesting and challenging problem for them to fix but one i am super excited about I cannot wait to experience what exciting things they have for us when control services are finally brought online. I 
I can feel that. I can feel that. <laughs> oh, pretty. Pretty. That is awesome. Good, good dude. This man, I'm telling you right now, I'm liking that video. Uh, a freaking amazing, freaking amazing. I could feel the G-force through the screen. It's amazing. I love Black Maze's content. I love his work. Like, the guy, the guy's making things other people aren't. Love that fresh content, man. Love it. Keep it up, Black Maze. Keep it up, bro.